Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. I got a little quick haul to share with you. I made it finally to five below and picked up some polishes. I did pick up the funky fingers, the black and the white. Um, the white is gesso or gesso and dark night for stamping. Everybody's using these and they seem to work really good so I had to get them. I also picked up one of the Fresh Paints top coat <laughs> called Finished. And then I picked up some polishes from Fresh Paint. I got this blue one and it is called Milky Way. It looks to be holographic. And then I also picked up the silver which is Luminosity. And then I got this pinky colored foil looking one called Dorothy. And then, what is this one? Blanche, or purple, or blurple, depends on how you see it. It looks a lot bluer in the camera than in the bottle. And then this gold one, and it is in the flash. So I figured I would swatch these on my nails real quick and give that top coat a try if I can get them open. Oh, okay, this one's opening very nicely. <laughs> I have to do the rubber band trick on this other one, the gold. And I had never shopped at a Five Below store, so it was pretty cool to be able to finally make it into one and get some of these polishes to try and a lot of them rang up two there we go got that one a lot of them rang up two dollars but two of them rang up five dollars and I'm oh thinking it was these two the blue and the silver hollow ones somebody had posted a picture on Instagram showing look what five below's got and I was like oh I gotta go check it out of course the ones she showed had lots and lots of uh, pretty hollows on it, but I only saw these two, so maybe maybe my store needs to get get their stock squared away. I'm gonna clean this mess up that I made real quick so that when I close these bottles up, they don't get like fused closed. on into some swatching. I've never used any of these polishes before. I've never had any. So I was really excited to be able to get my hands on some of them. That's a very pretty silver hollow for a first coat. I like it. Let me see if I can zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing. Got it getting too blurry. There we go. That should work. And here's the blue hollow. Oh, this one's very pretty. Angel will like this one. She's a blue fan. She loves blue polish. There's that one. Still looking a little blurry. Just the lights. Sometimes it's the lights messing with everything. And now to the kind of rose gold looking. Well, I guess it's more rose than gold. And that's the foil looking one. Formula on it's very nice. Not making too bad of a mess. A little bit. So let's get Woody out here and. Clean that up a little. That's very pretty. And now for the blurpily looking one. It's a little more sheer. But that's okay. It's not does not deter me. So I think it's gonna be a two coater. Maybe three, but we'll see. That one's very pretty. Like it. And now for the gold. That's a pretty gold. I mean, I own a lot of gold nail polish, but 
looks kind of silver on the camera. Alright, let's do our second coats. Gonna go back to the silver hollow. And if you shop at Five Below and you've got some of these polishes, let me know what you think of them. Maybe tell me which ones you've got. Because I might have to go back and get some more. I didn't get any of the like neon-y looking colors or the spring colors. Um, figured it wasn't that time of year, so I figured they would have them when I go back next time. It's right beside my Petco, so I know I'll be I'll be headed over there because you know Cotton's always needing food or treats or something. So I figured I will be back over there. Well, this one's drying down. The one that I was calling a blurple, it's drying down definitely more blue looking. I mean, it's still got some purple to it, but if I can get enough polish on the brush. Oh, that's pretty. It's kind of an unusual bluey purple. And it's got some <clears throat> duochromeness going on. I kind of like that. And now for a second coat of the gold. And they had another brand, but I didn't grab any of them. I was kind of on a mission. I was looking for those hollows. Alrighty, and I'm going to give this top coat, what is it called, finished, I'll give it a go, Let's see what we think. It seems pretty thin, which, depending on what you're doing, could be a good thing. And they've got these skinny brushes, so it takes more. Very pretty. I love that. I don't know if it, how fast it dries. I will find out. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting quiet. I'm kind of focusing. <laughs> But I always love it when um, when when I find polishes in the store that you know are kind of more red, readily available, and I really love that they were doing some hollows. That's very pretty. Well, I'm going to let this dry down a little bit and give you a report on or my thoughts on the top coat and I'll be right back. I am back and this dried down fairly fast within a few minutes. Um, it's still a little tacky feeling um, but I don't know that you know it's I mean it's not fast draw like posh top coat or shush feet or any of those other ones but it, it did pretty good. You know, I would definitely use it again, and it might be a really good candidate for a uh, decal making. So we will give it a shot with that and some future videos and see how that goes. So that is my final take on this. I really do love the polishes that I got from Five Below. I thought they were really pretty colors. Really, really love the hollows. They're they're probably my favorites. And uh, so there you go. That's all I have for today. Until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.